Hi. Now, in this part of the example, we've got to uh, find the total predicted profit for the years 2013 to 2023 inclusive, giving your answer to the nearest pound. So, if you uh, would like to uh, pause the video, if you haven't done so already, just to have a go at this question. Come back when ready and I'll take you through the work solution. OK, welcome back if you had a go. Just briefly though, before we start, let's just recap. We've got a company predicts a yearly profit of 120,000 in the year 2013. And the company predicts that the yearly profit will rise each year by 5%. The predicted yearly profit forms a geometric sequence with common ratio 1.05. So we've got to find the total predicted profit for the years 2013 to 2023 inclusive, giving your answer to the nearest pound. And to do this, what we've got essentially is to sum a geometric sequence. And you should be familiar with the idea that if your terms, the first term is A, second term AR, and third term AR squared, and so on, the sum of the first n terms is equal to a multiplied by all of r to the power n minus 1, all divided by r minus 1. Or you could multiply top and bottom here by negative 1 and get this alternative version for the formula. Now, what we've got to do then is sum up the terms in the sequence starting with the year 2013 to 2023. And the thing that I would find that uh, is the tricky bit here is how many terms there are in the sequence. Because if you're going from, say, 2013, let's just put this down here. The first term will be on the year 2013. And the next term will be 2014. It will be the sum in there. Now, you can see we've got two terms. The difference between 2013 to 2014 is just the interval of one, but yet we've got two terms here. So what I'm trying to say is that up to 2023, it's no good just taking away 2013 away from 2023 getting 10. There aren't 10 terms in the sequence there's in fact 11 terms in the sequence. And that's the bit that you've just got to take care of. I'm always a little bit suspicious when I get questions like this. OK, so we can now say that the total profit is going to equal, say, S11. And it doesn't matter, as I say, whether we use this formula or this one. I'm going to use this one here. Do experiment, OK? We tend to use this one, though, when the common ratio is more than 1. But it doesn't matter. You can use this one as well, OK? So if I use the top one, we've got S11 turns out to be the first term, A, which is 120,000. We multiply this by the common ratio, which is 1.05 to the power of n, n being 11, then minus 1, and then all of this is divided by r minus 1, 1 1.05 minus 1. Now, if you work all of this out on your calculator, what you should find you get is 170. 4814.459. But we've got to give our answer to the nearest pound. And so if you give this to the nearest pound, what you're going to have is 1704814. Okay, to the nearest pound. We'll just put that in there. So I hope that's given you an idea. A tricky problem then, I think, when it comes to just finding out how many terms are in the sequence. Very easy just to say S10 for 10 terms, but in fact, as I pointed out, it's 11. Okay?